Can you tell me the difference between a learned entrepreneur and a thoroughbred entrepreneur? Yeah, for for me, I look at people that like the Gary V's of the world. I think he's thoroughbred, right? He's selling lemonade at the age of eight. He's picking flowers, selling it. There's this business acumen that just comes very natural. I call it street smarts too. My brother has it. I do not. And I think that particular uh, personality trait is you're so susceptible to just falling on your ass, getting back up, not judging yourself and keeping it pushing at scale, Mm. right? Learned entrepreneurs, like for me, I have to develop that muscle of one, selling, two, being okay with failing, not needing the, not needing like the pat on the back or, oh, honey, you're okay. And then like developing that muscle. So I I think the reason why, and I'm, I'm in an environment of a lot of creative entrepreneurs. So designers, website developers, brand identity, logo designer. I think the learned entrepreneur for me, I call it the hybrid of the artist and the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. As an artist, your work is an extension of who you are. There's a lot of emotion tied to it. So when your work is your art and it doesn't work out, like creating a video, like creating a design, you put that on yourself versus being able to separate the two and tell yourself, okay, yes, I might be an artist, but we have to make business decisions. And sometimes business decisions will not always work. And that's okay. It's not a representation of me being a failure. It's just something that didn't work out and we need to keep moving. 